So you want to buy a new sports car, but you don't want to break the bank. And at the same time, you don't want to sacrifice the fun factor and you want to feel like a kid again. Well, today is your lucky day because in this video, I'll be showing you five affordable sports car worth buying in 2018. Hey guys, I'm Christian and this is Vehicle Virals. Let's get started. We're gonna start this list off with the 2018 Ford Mustang. I mean, how can I not include the Ford Mustang on this list? It's been the number one selling sports car in America for the last 50 years. And now after pushing an international expansion has become the number one sports selling car globally. That's right globally this veteran of a car is now sold in 140 different countries unbelievable unfreaking believable interesting enough this year ford discontinued the v6 naturally aspirated engine for the mustang and now we're left with a four cylinder 2.3 EcoBoost engine and for those that are not familiar with the term EcoBoost, it's just another word for turbocharged in a nutshell according to ford EcoBoost is a form of direct fuel injection and turbocharging, which is supposed to increase fuel efficiency without sacrificing power. You'll get 21 miles per gallon in the city and 31 miles per gallon in the highway and still producing 310 horsepower and 350 pound-feet of torque. Wait, what? Well, that's just what Ford said. Increase fuel efficiency without sacrificing power. The exterior really hasn't changed from the 2017 variant, but I mean, why even change something that's not broken? Some key standard features include independent rear suspension, track apps that allows you to track lap times and other performance features. And get this, it also includes launch control, even for the standard manual transmission. I mean, doesn't that sound like a lot of fun? I mean, it sounds like a lot of fun. The interior looks great. No question about that. The front seats are superb, but good luck trying to get somebody to volunteer to sit in the back seats. I mean, those are claustrophobic like. So if you want a powerful sports car that does not need an introduction whatsoever the 2018 Ford Mustang might just be the car for you moving on the next car on the list is the 2018 Chevrolet Camaro god I don't know how to say that let's just stick with Chevy Camaro it sounds a lot better and I can pronounce it a lot better that's right that's the Mustang's closest competitor I'll tell you something I have a soft spot for Camaros when I first saw it in the first Transformers movie being played by the character Bumblebee I was like oh my god what car is that it's no lie that the transformers movie greatly helped the camaro become the number two best-selling sports car here in the u.s behind the mustang of course the small yet powerful four-cylinder 2.0 liter pushes 275 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque the camaro gets 20 miles per gallon when you're driving in the city and it gets 30 miles per gallon when you're driving in the highway. If you haven't noticed by now, car manufacturers are trying to capitalize on sales by creating smaller turbocharged engines that are more fuel efficient. That said, you get more power while also having better fuel consumption. Well, at least that's the goal. Some standard features include a 7-inch display, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Wi-Fi hotspot. Wi-Fi hotspot? Well, yeah, it brings Wi-Fi hotspot and a rear view camera. Personally, I'm so glad that rear view cameras are becoming a lot more standard nowadays with the car industry, especially for the Camaro because the outdoor visibility is not the best inside of the Camaro compared to its competitors. The Camaro's interior looks both stylish and modern. About the back seats though, they're pretty much unusable. Well, for adults, they're pretty much unusable. For kids, I guess they're good. But I mean, when you buy a sports car, are you doing it so you can carry a lot of people? Probably not. The exterior has an aggressive and wide look. Looks a bit wider than the Mustang. And personal preference, I actually like the look of the Camaro more than the Mustang. Don't hate me. It's just personal preference. If you like the Mustang, you like the Mustang. I like the exterior of the Camaro, and I always have. And now we move on to Italy. So the next car is the 2018 Fiat 124 Spider. So you want a sports car that can drop its top and have everybody trying to figure out what you're driving. And on top of that, it's arguably one of the most fun cars to drive out there. Well, the Fiat might just be the one for you then. Just a warning, the specs might not sound like much, 
But keep in mind that this car weighs a thousand pounds less than the Ford Mustang at just 2,400 pounds curb weight. That said, the Fiat is equipped with a four cylinder 1.4 liter turbocharged engine that produces 160 horsepower and 184 pound feet of torque. As far as gas mileage, you get class leading 26 miles per gallon in the city and 35 miles per gallon in the highway. This is also the only non-manual car on this list. It comes with a six speed automatic transmission. I'm sure you guys have probably figured out that this car resembles another car out there. This car is pretty much a Mazda MX-5 Miata. Truth be told, they're actually both made in the same factory in Japan. Did you know that? I must admit, the hardest thing that I had to do was choosing between the Miata and the Fiat 124 to include into this list. It was a really tough decision. I literally just stared into the script that I was creating and couldn't decide between one of the two. So I ended up going back with the Fiat because it just felt more of a premium experience. It's an Italian brand, the badge looks very unique and a lot of people just don't know what type of car it is. So I feel like it has more of an exclusivity factor. I'm sorry if you're a Mazda fan. I will tell you this, if you're all about the sound, you want a sports car that has a really good sound and probably sounds better than the Fiat 124, then you're going to want to go with the Mazda Miata. It doesn't have a turbo engine, it has a 4 cylinder 2.0 naturally aspirated engine and sounds fantastic. If that's the thing that you want from your car, then go for that one. But in my opinion, I think that the Fiat edges it just a bit. Some key features for the Fiat include leather wrapped steering wheel and shift knob a black soft top, and independent rear and front suspension. The interior offers two seats, perfect for you and a girl, or you and a guy, or you and a pet. Oh, you and a pet, that's a great idea, especially with the top down. Can you imagine how much fun? Okay, let me stop, I'm going off track. The Italian interior will keep you comfortable throughout long rides and also around very curvy roads, which is exactly what this car is meant for, very curvy roads. Fourth on this list is the 2018 Subaru BRZ. You would think that I would include the Subaru WRX on this list, but since this is an affordable guide for sports car, we're gonna keep it at the BRZ. No worries, the BRZ still packs a punch. And it's actually Subaru's only rear wheel drive car in the US lineup, if you didn't know. Well, it's rear wheel drive, what does that mean for us? Well, it means that it's very slide happy, if you know what I mean. The BRZ is powered by a four cylinder 2.0 liter engine that produces 205 horsepower and 156 pound feet of torque. It's definitely not the most fuel efficient car on this list at 21 miles per gallon for the city and 29 miles per gallon for the highway. But if you're having fun, who cares? The BRZ is very generous with its standard features. It comes with a 7.2 multimedia touchscreen display, LED headlights, a rear view camera, and 17 inch aluminum wheels. The interior design has solid build quality and it's straightforward and simple. There's one thing about the exterior that you might find familiar. Looks very similar to the discontinued Scion FRS and the new Toyota 86. But the BRZ has a little bit more of an edgy look, so that's why I put that car on this list. So you combine fast fun and practicality and you get the 2018 Volkswagen Golf GTI. The Golf GTI is the perfect balance between comfort and performance, no doubt about it. The Golf arguably invented the segment of the hot hatch back when it debuted back in the 1970s. But note that the Golf wasn't available in the US until the 1980s. So there's one thing that separates this car from the rest of the cars on this list. Take a guess. Ding, 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 ding. Time is up. It's a front wheel drive car. So that means no drifting in this car, but that doesn't mean you can't power slide. Whoa, let me add this disclosure. In no way am I advising that you go power sliding with the Golf GTI, you heard? The GTI comes equipped with a four cylinder 2.0 liter engine that pushes 228 horsepower and 258 pound feet of torque. As far as fuel efficiency goes, it's not too bad. 21 miles per gallon to the city and 29 miles per gallon to the highway. Top standard features included in a Golf GTI are 6.5 inch touchscreen display, 18 inch aluminum wheels, 
Android Auto, Apple CarPay, and a sporty chassis. And you know what a sporty chassis means? It's fun to drive. This car feels a lot more expensive than what it really is. The interior is also uncluttered and has enough room so you can call this a small family vehicle. My favorite feature you ask? Well, the shift knob. It's shaped like a golf ball and it's dimpled like a golf ball. Clever, isn't it? I think so. What a surprise, the back seats are actually usable in this car. Plenty of space, lots of space in the cargo area. I mean, it is a hatchback after all. It has about 23 cubic feet of space in the cargo. That's a lot. And once you actually fold down the back seats, you get a whopping 53 cubic feet of cargo space. Isn't that great? Like I said earlier, fun and practical. The exterior has also been updated. So if you decide to purchase this car, you don't have to worry about going out of style for a few years years at least. Well guys, I hope you guys found this guide informative and entertaining in some kind of way. If you enjoyed it guys, hit the like button below and if you want to see content more like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell right next to it so you know exactly when I'm uploading the next video. Question for you, which of the five cars that I listed on the video was your favorite? Make sure and comment below. I hope you guys all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Till next time.